Hi all, welcome to another video. I bought this Game Boy as not working for 30 euros and it came with three games. So overall a great price. In this video I'm going to show you the process of retro brighting a yellow shell. As you can see here, the shell is really yellowed and they had some case around it. I think it did more harm than good. You can see that there's yellowing around where the case wasn't. So the back is okay, seems fine. No corrosion on the battery contacts. So no obvious reason why it shouldn't be working. Let's get some batteries in here and test it. So sometimes it will help if you just wiggle the batteries. Uh, if it has been laying for a long time. As you can see it, it powered, on, powered on instantly so I don't know why in the set in the air that it wasn't working. So everything works. We can clean it and have a good machine again. Let's remove the batteries and game and start disassembling it. To start we have to remove the six Try wing screws. The back screws are the same for for the first Game Boy until the Game Boy Color, I think. So when you got all the screws out, you can remove the two halves from each other and then remove the ribbon cable from the slot. To remove the back half of the motherboard, there are four Phillip head screws. The back half of the motherboard looks to be in a really good condition. Just need some cleaning and then it will be fine. The cartridge slider is attached with four screws. So everything can go into the bucket of soapy water. You can use a draft or something like this. This is a degreaser or something you do the dishes with. Don't forget to remove the battery contacts from the back half of the case. So to remove the screen and the front half of the motherboard, there's in total 10 Phillips head screws. You can just lift it. If it's not coming out, you can uh, wiggle the case. And then it will pop out. So again, I think this just needs a good cleaning and some TLC and it will be fine. Uh, I am going to remove the polarizing filter and add on a backlight kit and a biverter mod just to make the screen look nicer. So these uh, button contacts look to be okay, just dirty 
as you can see here, just nasty, also in the soapy water. I think I might replace this because this is discolored. Get the rest of the buttons out and put them in the soapy water as well. And we can remove the adhesive sticker for the screen as well. So get everything cleaned with a brush, a nail brush or a toothbrush of something of kind. Even though we are going to put this in the hydrogen peroxide later, just want this clean beforehand so we don't get uh, contamination in the hydrogen peroxide. So we can reuse it later. When you are finished cleaning the parts, you can dry everything with a cloth, paper towel or something. I'm removing some residue left behind from the screen glue. So when we will put the new screen on, it will fit better. Put the shell in a container. This process will take up to 48 hours depending on how yellowed it is. The back half and the battery cover were not that bad, but the front I left in there for 48 hours. And that's pretty long to be waiting for this. Uh, I think it, if it's not that yellowed, it will be fine in like 24 hours or so, but you can just check it meanwhile, as I'm doing here. So this is uh, 30 hours in. The difference is, well, uncanny to be honest. It looks really amazing already. Just need some more time in the, in the bath. And and then we can put it back together again. We need to clean it when we take it out of the hydrogen peroxide because this liquid is very harmful for your skin. Putting it back together. Four Philip head screws for the cartridge slide. Battery contacts. I have a replacement select and start button. We can put the back the buttons and the button contacts and just move it on the side. Uh, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to put a backlight and a biverter kit on here, biverter chip. I will do that in a separate video because this video will be way too long for that. So putting the motherboard back uh, in the shell, the back half uh, just has four Phillips screws. 
and the front with the screen has 10 just uh, put those back and then we are ready to put the ribbon cable in it's always good to test it after that just put some batteries in and uh, switch it on and if everything is working then you can uh, put back the six tri-wing screws Final touch is putting a screen lens on. Just clean it beforehand. Uh, clean off the fingerprints if, if there are any. And then put uh, the lens on. And then we have finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're still watching, thank you for watching it until the end. Drop a like if you liked the video, a dislike if you didn't, subscribe for more content like this and goodbye, or like we say in the Netherlands, tot ziens.